There's a passage in the canon where the Buddha recommends that a monk reflect on his alms round, not on the food he got, but on the state of his mind as he went into the village, as he was in the village, and he came back out. You have to realize that when you go on an alms round, that's your time of day to be exposed to lay life the most. And all the attractions of lay life are there. But also, there are also the, the drawbacks of lay life, too. You can see them. We don't have that much here. All we have is the walk from the dining hall over to the kitchen and then back. And those of you who go out to the, to the road, you basically go past a lot of orchards. But if you had a busy part of the day, when you've been involved with a lot of people, it's good to reflect on it afterwards. Was there any greed, aversion, and delusion, any desire, any irritation that came up? If so, it may be still hanging around in the mind. So do your best to clear it out. This kind of reflection is really good. Remember the Buddha's image for Rahula. The very beginning, when he was just teaching Rahula the very basics of the practice, after teaching him the principle of how important it is to be truthful, then he gave him the image of a mirror. As you're practicing, you're going to be looking at your actions as you would look in a mirror. You want to see your intentions, you want to see the actual action, and you want to see the results. Look carefully there, and then reflect. Any defilement still there, any attachment still there, any clinging, any suffering? that you haven't let go of, because that's your work to do for the day. Keep cleaning things out, cleaning things out. There was that Zen passage where they, one monk was talking about dusting the mirror every day, every day, and then another monk came along and said, no, there's no mirror there at all. And the, the award was given to the monk who said, there is no mirror. But if there's no mirror, how are you going to look and see what's come? I mean, if there really were no mirror, that would solve the problem. But the fact that the mind does reflect, and all too often it reflects outward, it doesn't reflect back on itself. So reflect back on yourself and at the end of the end of the meal when you go back to your place. Okay, any greed, aversion, illusion was stirred up today. Okay, let's take care of that now. Don't let these things stay and fester in the mind. As you keep cleaning things out, then you get more and more sensitive to more subtle things that are settling in the mind. And it's in this way that the practice progresses.